Hello kindergarten readers! Today I have a very fun book to share with you. But before we get started, I wanted to share some thinking that you might do during our interactive read aloud. Some of the things you might do is you might think, talk, act it out, and sketch. We might be thinking about how the characters in the story feel. And we're also going to be thinking about retelling the story. Thinking about who is in the story, where did the story take place, and what happened using words like first, next, and last. Right now, go get a piece of paper and divide it into at least three parts, or get three sticky notes. You can pause the video to go do this. This will help you when I say sketch it out. Today we're going to be reading a book called Hunting Squirrels. Let's look at the cover and think who might be in this story. Well, as I look at the cover, I see two dogs. I'm thinking they might be our characters. I also see that the title of the story is Hunting Squirrels. I'm kind of wondering what that might be about. I'm wondering if these two dogs are going to chase some squirrels. We'll have to see. As we read this book, we're going to think about what the characters do and say and how they feel. And we're also going to be thinking about the events in the story so that we can retell the events. Here is our title page, Hunting Squirrels. I also see two other dogs. These two dogs' names are Bella and Rosie. And in this story, Bella and Rosie are going to tell Jack and Daisy that they are too little to come chasing squirrels with them. Let's see what Jack and Daisy do about that. Jack and Daisy watched Bella and Rosie go out the door. Where are you going? Daisy called to Bella and Rosie. Can we come too? No, said Bella. We are going outside to chase squirrels. You're too little. Jack and Daisy watched Bella and Rosie run across the yard. We are not too little, said Daisy. We can chase squirrels. What's a squirrel? asked Jack. Never mind, said Daisy. Just follow me. Let's think about what has happened so far. Bella and Rosie are going off to chase some squirrels. They think that Jack and Daisy are too little to go with them. But Daisy certainly doesn't think that she's too little. And Jack doesn't really seem to understand. Let's think about how Jack and Daisy are feeling. On your first sticky note, I want you to sketch out how is Jack feeling. Now, on your second sticky note, I want you to write out how is Daisy feeling. Here is what I thought. I drew a confused smiley on my sticky note for Jack because I think he is feeling a little bit confused. He doesn't seem to understand what squirrels are. And I wrote an angry sticky note for Daisy, she seems to be mad that Bella and Rosie won't let her and Jack go along with them. Jack and Daisy ran outside. Daisy ran around the yard sniffing. Jack stood and watched. Oh, right here, let's act this out. I want you right now to act like Daisy. Run around the yard sniffing. Now, I want you to act out, what did Jack look like? Good work. I smell one, said Daisy. Come on. Jack ran after Daisy. 
Wait for me, he called. Wait! Hurry up, said Daisy. We have to hurry if we want to catch the squirrel. But what's a squirrel? asked Jack. Suddenly, Jack tripped. He fell and rolled down a big hill. Daisy looked down and saw Jack at the bottom of the hill. Oh, no, she said. Help, said Jack. I can't get back up this hill. Come on, said Daisy. She ran down the hill and then back up. See, it's easy. Just climb up. You can do it. I can't, said Jack. I'm too little. Please call Bella and Rosie for help. Let's be retelling rock stars and think about who is in the story, where the story is happening, and what has happened so far. Well, Bella and Rosie went chasing squirrels, and Jack and Daisy wanted to join them. That's the who. Where are they? They're outside in their yard. And what has happened so far? Well, first, Jack and Daisy go looking for squirrels. Daisy thinks she smelled one, and Jack and Daisy run after it. But suddenly, Jack falls down a big hill. Daisy is trying to get him to climb up. We're not sure what happens last, so we need to keep reading. Also, let's think about how the characters are feeling right here. On your last sticky note, draw a face that they might be making. How are they feeling? I am thinking that Jack and Daisy might be a little bit worried because Jack can't get up the big hill, and Jack wants to call Bella and Rosie, but Daisy doesn't really want to. No, said Daisy. Bella and Rosie think we are too little. We'll show them we are not too little. Take one step at a time and you can do it. Slowly, Jack climbed up the hill. I'm, go I'm doing it, he said. Hooray, said Daisy. Now let's find that squirrel. What's a squirrel? asked Jack. Silly Jack, he still doesn't know what a squirrel is. All right, kindergarten readers. You are going to get to be rock star retellers. Here is what I want you to do. I want you to ask yourself, who was in the story, where did the story take place, and what happened first, next, and last. You can record a video note of this.